Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a PowerPoint for this. First, I'm going to have a square. And what I, how I got the square is I clicked the square down here at the bottom. And I'm going to move it all the way over here. And I'm going to match it up with this. I'm going to move it back over here. And I'm going to click that square. Or I'm just going to copy and then paste it right there. And move it down. And then I can double click. I can change. No fill. No, no fill. No fill. No fill. It says it at the top. No fill right here. Leave the line. Leave the line. There you go. And then click right here again. No fill. No fill. Mm -hmm. And then all I have to do is click line at the very bottom and add a line here. Can you copy that one too? I can copy. Oh, do you want to animate them so you don't have to animate everything? Yeah. The first one I'm going to press add effect, entrance, just have it zoom in, and I can have the second box. Let's not animate the second box, let's do this box. Let's animate that box because that's the back, right? Let's make that box come in and this one disappear. Okay. That one right there. So how do you so make that one disappear? What I'll do is I can just click square down here. Make it square, make sure it's the right size. It's a little bit smaller, not a little bit bigger. Right there, now double click it and make it, yeah, make it white. White, and you know what it's right? And then I'll have this fly in. But we're doing this is the back one, and that's the back. Yeah. So put it so there. I'll put that right there and make this one. Make it a little wider. There you go. So now it looks like that disappeared, right? Yeah. And I'll have that fade. Now hit play and see what they've done just a short period of time. I put that and had this look like it disappeared and made the back. And so, and we drew this square right you're pointing at now next. So why don't we have that come in and then we'll make this one point at this one. That one disappear. Okay, so. Click on that shape first. There. Mm -hmm. That's still not it. There it is. There. Entrance. We'll just have it come in. And then I'll get another square. Or you can copy the other one you have because it's already animated. Copy. Right? Get rid of that one. Yeah. Copy the square you already had because the people will appreciate Copy that one. And then I can just paste it in the It's already sized and animated, right? Yeah. I can just have that. And I'll then hit play so they can see what we have so far. Like that. And that disappears. And this one disappears. Let's get rid of this line. Oh, yeah, okay, let's get rid of that line. Hit play again. Now it looks like the purple square has disappeared, but all I really did is have another square come on. We can't use another auto shape to do the square on the side, so we could draw a couple lines connecting the corners. Okay. You want to animate yeah. that? Mm -hmm. Copy that. And just have it come down to the bottom. That is perfect. And then we need to copy that black white square and paste it on that side that we're making disappear. Now I can play again. Okay, you're doing an awesome job. And so you need to make, uh, oh, we'll make the bottom disappear, this one right there, yeah. by drawing right there. Okay, so first we need to <laughs> the bottom one. Right there. And you want to add a. Okay. Yep. Do you have to animate that because it's already animated? Oh, yeah. Do you want to draw a line? Because you want to some one line from the bottom. No, it's not that one. It's this one right here. Get rid of that one. Draw this line here across the bottom. From the bottom. That looks good. I think, is it animated already? No, because I okay. just drew it. Right. Um. I'll hit play again because it's really going to help. Mm -hmm. 
and the very bottom. And then all I need is my top and side. So this one. Are you going to copy one of the white boxes? Yeah. That's going to be the side, right? Yep. And then the very last one will be the top. Why don't you copy the one you just drew and then put it on the top? Okay. This is the top, and maybe we could show. Uh, just draw a line to this and going to the top, to, okay. but not the, an yeah. arrow, rather. Can it get an arrow from the bottom right okay. here? Yeah. Let me make that fine. And make that last one disappear. And then we can copy and paste another one of these white squares. And while we're watching this, if I was telling a teacher about this, I would say <coughs> that we spent probably total 20 minutes on a problem, understanding it, how to do it. But it'd be better to do a 20-minute problem in an interesting way that's recordable and something you can refer back to than to do 20 different problems, each taking a minute of piece, and you would still forget it because it was just on a piece of paper that maybe you put a letter grade on or a happy face and it got stuck to the refrigerator for a day. Uh, this is something that we will upload to the Wix page, and next year that they can refer to it again. Um, so this looks really good. Yeah. And it's done. Oh, all, what's left is to put your answer in. So how do you fill in the, the bubbles at the bottom? Well, I come down here to the circle. Well, it says oval. And I make it about that big. And I just come right here. And I can just easily have that entrance go and turn. And have that right there. And then it tells me that this shape made a cube by folding it up. All right. Cut.